movie City Slickers, I love that, which starred Billy Crystal as a big city boy who suddenly finds himself in the middle of the wild, wild, wild west. Well, that movie is actually what inspired my next guest to saddle up for a good cause, and it's making some inner city kids rootin' tootin' happy. Take a look. Nestled in the hills, about 50 miles north of Los Angeles, is a working dude ranch known as Inner City Slickers. The brainchild of former musician Michael McNeil, it's a place where kids from the inner city come to escape the pressures of urban life and experience something completely new to them, such as learning to rope cattle and saddling up to ride a horse for the first time. It's a western dream that McNeil has long wanted to provide for less fortunate kids. And thanks to corporate sponsorship, volunteers, and private donations, Inner City Slickers has the means to inspire hundreds of kids to learn leadership and artistic skills, and hopefully something about themselves. This city roundup, like the Old West, symbolizes strength, perseverance, and hard work, giving many anxious youngsters a chance to face their fears, and more importantly, an opportunity to see past the inner city. This bullfrog is Jeremiah. Does that tweak your memories? Please <laughs> welcome former three dog night drummer turned cowpoke, Michael McMeal and 11 year old Brandon, who is a roping champion at Inner City Slickers. Welcome. <laughs> they gave me this because they didn't want me to start singing, so uh, this was to I, appease I've, I've heard me. about your singing. Yeah, yes. exactly, okay. <laughs> so how did you, you saw the movie and said, oh, such an idea. Such an idea is exactly the words that came out of my mouth. I was shooting a commercial out in that area, and there were horses and kids in it, and I went back to do some editing, and I thought, mm, what about inner city slickers? So I called all my friends, and they said, oh, I love it, I love it. So we started the program, and it's really taken off. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Did, you have, did you know how to do all of this stuff? or No. You're sort of a city slicker yourself. I was a city slicker, but now <laughs> we have 30 horses, 25 mm -hmm. head of cattle. And I, you know, I feed them myself. I, really? I ride, I break the horses. Uh, I've wow. turned into quite a cowboy myself. You mean bucking the Bronco thing you do? Unfortunately, yes, I've bucked a few horses out, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. does he do a good job, or are the horses still kind of annoying? See, yes. Yeah. <laughs> do you ride horses and do everything? Yes. Isn't that sort of strange to go there and be cleaning horses and jumping on them and doing all of this? Yes. What do your friends say? They don't like it. They don't like it? Why? Yeah. Because they have to work and they're pretty lazy. <laughs> <laughs> so, but you're not lazy anymore because you do no. all of this stuff, right? He's a professional pooper picker-upper. Oh. <laughs> and how do you get to be a professional at that? He taught me. <laughs> <laughs> Out of the mouths of the babes, yeah. How does this change the kids? What does this do for the kids? Well, I'll tell you something, it's amazing. Uh, we're all faced with fear throughout our lives, right? And uh, there can't be courage without fear. So when they get up to the ranch, uh, a lot of them have never even been out of their block. So they see horses and they're these big things and they're afraid to touch them. They're, uh, they're afraid to step in horse poo poo. Uh, and so what happens is every- I don't think that's a fear thing. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I, I wish I could demonstrate, but they like Ooh. tip, it's like this. And so what happens is every, every minute of every day that they're up at the ranch, they, we help them push through that fear and they become more courageous and more courageous. So at the end of a day or three days, these kids don't want to go home. They want, they've got their horse, they want to ride that horse. And, and then it's kind of a sneaky way to get kids who of different ethnic backgrounds to get together and, and see that they're no different than anybody else. And that magic of that horse and the excitement of it all, you know, sitting around the campfire and telling no, ghost stories. Is this for girls, too? Everybody. Yep, everybody. We do, had do the girls pick up the poop with the boys? I mean, uh... Yeah. Oh, good. I just want to make sure it's fair. All right. His godfather's in the audience. He's a direct, uh, an ex-DI, uh, a uh, mil uh, military marine sergeant, right? And if the kids are too loud at night, he gets them out, and they muck stalls for two or three hours. And so they're at, like, 12 midnight, they're out of their tents and they're mucking stalls so it's mucking parents stalls. remember that oh yes i'm gonna have to go get a horse it'll straighten out my kid all right all right i'd like to see you rope can you do that yes all right come on let's go do this all right brandon go get him baby he's the champion okay i'm just gonna watch how he does this around his head he's got a good loop there and then he throws it out, and All there right. it is. All right. Okay. Can you 
open it all up so I could try that? I saw that thing. You did this wrist thing over your yeah. head. There you go. Huh? All right. Okay. And you then have to what? Back off the loop. Oh, back right down there. here? Yeah. Okay. Very good. You hook this and you want to have slack. So, when so you it'll let, let go. go. Yeah. That sounds wise. All right. You ready? Okay. I don't want to hurt you. <laughs> good loop. Oh, please. <laughs> Throw it like a baseball. Oh, not bad. It was bad. close. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs>